Hello Lulas, welcome back to my channel guys. I know you guys don't see Vegas that often so I thought I would pop on with Vegas. So Vegas is my Willow Asleep by Claire Teller. Um, he's a full body silicone baby. He's very soft and he has elbow armatures and he has a drink and wet. Um, and as always, I always like to mention that um, everything is all about preference um, I like to talk about the features when I show my dolls because a lot of people are you know just now exploring certain features or just getting into silicone or whatever the case may be and sometimes you guys may be curious like what's the hype about why why bother now I do want you guys to understand that when I paint my personal babies sometimes I'm in such a rush what is that I got on him Sometimes I'm in such a rush to, to play with them. I don't finish all their touch-ups up before um, beforehand. So if you see anything on him, it's probably something that's going to be fixed later. Um, I don't know why he got something right there. It's like clear. So mm. um, anyway, he has rooted eyebrows fyi he is actually i gotta try to remember how i rooted his eyebrows because since then i have not been able to root anyone eyebrows like his um they look like they're thick and mark it on on camera but i can promise you he has the most beautiful eyebrows in person and i gotta figure out how i did that because they don't they can go a little get a little weird but not really much they pretty much stay in place and they're pretty much rooted like my actual my eyebrows i have very full eyebrows have always had full eyebrows and so anyway just wanted to to show that that's some of the things that i'm trying to work on i'm also starting back to try to um paint eyebrows again oh with silicone it is so challenging for me um but anyway i'm i'm gonna try some other techniques and stuff i've seen a lot of people do a lot of different things like they use like little loose hairs and they tweeze them on and stick them on with the, i don't want to do that i want to i want to either root them perfectly which i prefer if i can master rooting them perfectly I probably wouldn't paint them because I think it just adds another 3D effect to the dolls themselves. That's just my personal opinion. But rooting them can be just as messed up as painting them. Um, so he has a binky. He has a pretty open mouth. You guys. Anyway, this kit is sold out. So um, it's not like I'm trying to sell the kit or anything like that. Um, he is my absolute favorite sculpt by Claire Teller. And then, of course, um, my next favorite would be the Kent because it's just personal for me. And I just really love it. And it's so super newborn. So a lot of people think the Willows are a lot bigger than what they are. Um, they are nice size babies. He has a big head and I love it. And he has very full limbs. And when I say full, full, my my oldest and my my oldest girl daughter, firstborn, and my son, um, which is the youngest of the grown kids, they were thick babies when they were born, and they had those thick little chunky thighs and stuff. But he's still very newborn. Like he's still like his diaper area is very petite he's very petite in his you know in his little diaper area let me see if i can get more light into here but he's very petite like he's you know he still wear a newborn size diaper this is probably a size one so that's don't mind it that's why it's big and hanging off of him probably but he can he fit mostly newborn clothes sometimes i put him on zero to three i think this outfit is zero to three and 
sometimes zero to three works okay sometimes zero to three is too big depending on you know the brand because sizes have changed a lot so a lot of stuff have gotten a zero to three is like a three to six months sometimes um again he has elbow armatures which allow him to still have movement in his like his arms you see like he's not I'm very funny about like pushing my babies to the limit and doing a lot of stuff. So I I realize that my babies can do a lot more than I probably do with my dolls, but I just don't feel comfortable. I'm very let's see, maybe if he's I don't know, this arm don't want to lay back, but that one does. So I don't know. But anyway, so the main thing is just is just so they can straighten the arm out or they can bend it up and he can hold it up in the air like that. That's the difference in the elbow armature and the full armature. I didn't think I liked the full armature until I start getting them in my uh, babies from Silicone Studio and um i i do like the full armatures i almost like it more so even when i get another baby from claire taylor or um lillian breville that she pour from i will probably get her full armature um another time i might try her full armature just because i just feel like i don't know i feel like i can do a lot more with it and i like it so anyway we're getting him dress. So I'm going to take off his sockies. And with the drinking wet, for me, I only use water. And sometimes I'll put warm water just because it feels real when it trickles down. But you know, I don't use the drinking wet to be honest. I like I love a baby that have an open mouth because I want them to be able to take a bottle. That's the most important thing for me. Because when I fake feed, I prefer to you know, what is this on? A little fuzzy. All right. I prefer to, you know, for it to look realistic with the milk and stuff in there. This is his little self. And him, of course, he does the little position. And all my babies, I tend to give them like a little birthmark on their bum bum. So if you got a baby from me, you probably, if you hadn't noticed it, it's probably there. There are certain things that I feel like I do with all my babies. And, um... And it's just like sculptors, certain sculptors, they have, you can tell a sculptor's style um, no matter what usually, even if the babies don't look just alike. Because I like to think that Claire Taylor sculpts all have their own look, but you can always tell her, her sculpts because she's going to put a part of her signature in it. Um, and also one thing about her babies is that they usually look good from every angle, and I love that. Um, it's, that's, you know, the sculpts that I like, that I particularly like, I feel like they look good from every angle, no matter what angle. The lighting is so weird in here right now. I don't know why, but it is. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Move the light over. It is so weird because I have it's like a weird it's giving him like a sun kissed look and that's really not the case. see I'm, I'm sorry guys I am moving you guys around 
in the mess. So you hear my tripod squeak, all that good jazz. Okay, keep keep you guys overhead like this. All right, there we go. All right, but yeah. So anyway, I absolutely love Vegas. I feel like Vegas is probably one of my favorite paintings of my own. <laughs> I know it sounds weird when you can take your own work when you be like, oh yeah, that one didn't do too good. Yeah, you you know the good. Mm, she could have did better on that when the she is actually me. <laughs> it sounds stupid. I was debating what I wanted to put him on. If I wanted to put him on this, this thing, that outfit is so busy. Oh my gosh, he probably, oh, he do look cute in it. So. I mean, it do look cute against him. Or if I'm going to put him on this. Because y'all know I be wanting to see his little skin. I think I'm going to put him on this. I'm going to put him on this little hat. And you know, he bald headed. Oh man, this hat got a, a bow on it. We not going to do that, baby. All right, let me find you a blue um hospital like hat or something because that's not gonna happen not on my watch so i could turn the hat around backwards but just knowing that it has the bow there is gonna irritate my soul so we are going to find him a different hat that's what we're gonna do but anyway i love when we hang out and I can do these type videos and people don't get all in their feelings and ticked off because I am in the camera and I'm doing this and doing that and not doing this and not doing that. Oh, big head boy. <laughs> I'm gonna root him soon, I really am. I am going to root him soon enough. I am trying to hold on to my sold out baby. So him and Phoebe definitely won't go. I kind of, you know, fumbled the bag with uh, Jaden because he was a sold out kid, but I let him go. But um. I was reading another uh, collector. Oh, and I, I removed his eyelashes. I was like, where is his eyelashes? I removed his eyelashes when I went and did a, uh, uh, when I went back and gave him more color. So I never put them back. <laughs> I'll put them back when he's all finished and after he gets his hair and stuff. But um, I was reading another collector's post on Instagram and she was saying how she eventually would like to I think it was on Instagram I don't know but anyway um I know some of us collectors like to collect more limited small editions sold out babies um and hold on to those and I'm kind of like that more so with my vinyl than anything but I also like my silicone to be that way too especially since we pay so much for them um, but I don't mind a open edition as well because sometimes we want to have that access and be able to oh my god he's so cute now I don't know if these are supposed to be girls or not but listen baby I'm about to see what they finna look like on him as a boy. <laughs> and I got these from Miss Patricia, so I was like, I'm gonna use these. I don't know, maybe they supposed to be girls. Cause is that supposed to be like a ruffle at the bottom? I don't know, child, but he, he said he don't care. Or I could put him on his. 
Y'all want me to take these off of him? Somebody screaming in the in the comments right in the, in the screen right now saying, "Oh my God, why would you put them on him? Take them off." <laughs> yeah, I can do that, or I can do the socks. Oh, and baby, how about you? You can put on your <laughs> boom. So I kind of like him with the socks on. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to put the socks on because I don't know if these are supposed to be girls or not, but they was cute. The color was cute. I'll probably just use them on Gigi. Well, her next outfit. I want to <sighs> he's so sweet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I, I didn't even realize I had this hat here. I could have put him on this hat too. But I like when you give a little contrast. Because I could put him on the white hat. Let's see what it looked like. But I promise you that blue bone is, is, is popping. Yeah, see? I mean, the white is okay, and it probably look good on camera, but in person, that blue sets it off. And then, plus, he got a little blue in his. So, I am choosing blue. Now, you can like what you like. And he got, like, gums. He have a uvula in the back of his mouth. And then you can't really even see his drinking wet. You have to hold his tongue down to see the hole back there in the back. This, um, so, and I'm pretty sure, um, and it's a very, it's very neat. It's very, it's just, it's not rag, rugged or anything like that. It's just, it, it looks very well done so that's that all right that's my boy i just i i love him so much to the point of it's a love hate relationship sometimes because sometimes i'm like oh i'm not but as soon as i interact with him it's like oh my god i just love him all over again and it's part of why I haven't rooted him yet too because I want to make sure when I root him I give him really nice hair and I do a really nice style because the willows remind me of my real kids so much and a lot of people complain about the wide space in between the eyes on the awake the sleep has it too but you see it more in the awake but my babies had that wide space in between their eyes for the most part so, um, it's very familiar for me. All right. Ooh, this was a long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing him and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.